Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me for this May edition of our Charleston Real Estate Market Update. I'm Bill Bird with the Bird Property Group, a real estate professional here with Keller Williams in Charleston. So let's jump in and take a look at the numbers. So we pulled these numbers from the MLS on April 30th. And the first column I want you to look at is the total active listings. We are down to 824 listings in our market. That is an incredibly low number and we are definitely in a shortage of supply. Uh, if you look to the far right column, the average days on the market, we are down to four days on market on average. That is unprecedented. In my 35 year career, I have never seen numbers that low. And in the next column to that, the list price to sale price ratio column, you see lots of hundreds there. Now, what this shows you is that if you list your house on the market today, you have a really good chance of getting your asking price and potentially a whole lot more. Now, our system doesn't track numbers over 100, but what we're hearing through networking with other agents in the area and what our agents on our team are telling us is that with multiple offers and, and these homes getting bid up beyond their ask prices, these list price to sale price ratios are probably well over 100%. So let's look at where we've come since 9-30-2020. Now this is just nine months ago, and it has some telling signals in it. Um, the first column, you can see we had 3,600 listings on the market. Now that's, that's pretty strong. Um, now in the next column, you see 2,155. That's the number of new homes coming on the market. And the next column over, 2,265, those are new sales within that month. So go over a couple more co columns and you'll see a negative 110. That is how many homes that month we lost in inventory. So basically, our inventory was not resupplying itself. And homes back then were selling in 48 days. So fast forward to the end of April. We're down to 824 listings. Um, but here's, here's a pretty interesting number. If you look at the um, fourth column from the right, you'll see an 84. We gained 84 listings last month, so that's a good sign that maybe things are turning around and we're getting more inventory, which is definitely going to help buyers uh, feel more comfortable in this market. So the next chart is the median sales price, and if you look here, we have raised our price quite a bit. Uh, typical market appreciation is in the 3 to 4% a year range, and last year, uh, year to date, we are up 18.4%. Pretty incredible number. New listings, you can see we have plenty of listings coming on the market. It's just that they're selling at an unprecedented pace, faster than, than anybody has ever expected. Meeting days on the market has gone down, obviously. Uh, the reason this is in here is I wanted to show you, you know, how high that number was back at the bottom of our market after the housing crisis. In 2012, you can see we were up to probably about 75 days on the market on average. The next chart is the month supply of homes. Uh, what I want you to see here is between 2016 and 20, uh, 2020, uh, we had a pretty flat market, roughly in that four-month supply range. That's basically a normal market. When you have three to four months supply of homes, it's pretty equal as far as uh, weighted to buyers versus sellers. Uh, but we're way past that at this point. So that's about all I wanted to show you for this month. We are in unprecedented times as far as the speed at which things are selling right now. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns, want to learn more about this market, or if we can help you in any way, feel free to reach out to us, call the number below, or, or give me an email. We'll be uh, happy to help you any way we can. So thanks a lot for watching, and you have a great day. Thanks.